right, let's put that on there. Wow, so she was faking it the whole time? Literally just like me? Hi, Julia. I know Man. that this seem absurd, but this is me and this is my voice. Man. You're joking We're me. We're equals in this sense, too. Well, it's obvious, really. I've basically always spoken and you were my voice. Mm-hmm. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. I'm playing as Martha. I'm playing as Martha right now. Whoa. I have to tell you that I'm... I'm pregnant, Julia. I'm pregnant with Lapo's baby. I called Six, it! And I never had the courage to tell you. I called I'm so it! I'm afraid of hurting you. I'm so ashamed. And now... How can I ever bring this child into the world? I called it! starting to show. Could you tell? That's why I'm no longer getting undressed in front of you. But for how much longer can I hide it? What? Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead, early. I asked you to switch beds with me, like we used to when we were little girls. I got up at dawn and didn't wake you. I put on one of your dresses. Wow. Wow. I called that. Like, right on the money. Here's mom and dad. Am I supposed to be in here? Because it's just progressing as I go along. Wow, man. That's crazy. Now, I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that Lapo wasn't able to tell the difference between the two of us, but I still called it none the... Oh, I put on one of your dresses. Oh, it's interactive. I'm being a dumbass. All right, well, which I one am I putting on? I mother telling her that it was you who was pregnant. The magician, me. yep. come and see at the lake. I left it on the desk in her room. Yeah, you did that. Okay, so I need to follow what is being said. So I got to come up here and put this right here. Then I felt the need to talk to you and I remembered the recorder in the dark room. But how is it that you practically predicted your own demise? Like, or is that what you wanted, though? Did you choose to die to keep me alive? I don't know, man, but what a twist. I will go to the lake alone and act as you. What a twist. I will tell her everything you never had the courage to tell her. I will be your voice. Oh. I know how much she's made you suffer over the so years. So she was telling her off like you, and I Mama snapped. I the harm she has done to you and it is my fault. Take my place, sister. You will live a better life and I will be able to rest in peace knowing that I at least try to put right what I have done wrong. I will right. Go. My last memory will be the image of you sleeping peacefully. So... She told her off and mama snapped. Especially with the whole pregnancy thing. That's why she called Julia, Hi, Julia. a slut. That's why she did that. It all upset. makes sense. Unbelievably upset. Wow. July 16th, that cursed day. Martha didn't wake me up. How nuts, man. I was not expecting that. To see objects you must interact with. The bed, the clothes. All right, I gotta interact with Martha all this. Martha wasn't there and we were supposed to go to the lake together. Right. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought Mother woke up early, despite her medication, and asked her to do something. Right. So I believe now I have to... 
get there dressed. Was a dress missing from my wardrobe. Oh. Okay. Let's get the Louis Vuitton and let's go. Oof. That early morning sunlight. It was a foggy morning, but it was no longer dawn. It was a sign of something terrible. Mm. Is that when it happened? Oh. My mother had killed her beloved Martha with her Jesus. own hands. Jesus! I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid. Nah, you got some real reason to throw hands now. Mama's gotta get it! She literally killed Martha because she thought she was Julia, and she got told the fuck off. Like, I knew I did not like the mob. I knew I did. I had good reason, and I called it. But what was really ironic was it stemmed from that red fabric on that, you know, rock because I thought it was the scarf. That I one, for one detail of pistols to defend myself was wrong. What a stupid little girl I was. And yet I still got everything In right. Oh, we get the we get the blicky. The film still needed developing, even if it didn't prove she was guilty. I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. Wow. It's like a new chapter, The Graveyard, six days after Martha's death, 8 p.m. It's like that, uh, that Ned Flanders meme. I got the grip skiddly in case a nigga gets silly. <laughs> Another telegram of condolence. Isn't it a bit late? I don't know about all that. All right, let's read the newspaper, even though I don't really think it matters at this point. The New Zealanders conquer Tavernelli. In the eastern sector of the battlefront, the troops of the 2nd New Zealand Division, British 8th Corps, mm -hmm. conquer Tavernelli. The 6th South African Armoured Division advances on the heights near Greve, conquering the peaks of the Domini and Philly Mountains. Okay. The 4th Division reaches San Giovanni. Okay, the stars. Huh. So I've gotten at least, like, three, maybe more than that, of uh, tarot cards of achievements. Oh, is that mom? Go to the dark room now. Not when she's around. I must stay as far away from her as possible. Damn. I could go to the cemetery instead to find out whether Martha really was pregnant or not. Uh, I would say, yeah, but let me get this telegram, though. Let me, uh, let me get this. Dear Mrs. Irene K. That's our mom. Following your call, we have received a telegram <clears throat> from Dr. D. Dr. D? has been accepted. What? As soon as the police station issues authorization. Oh, they're coming to take me the to the asylum. While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the advice of her treating physician. I thank you for your generous and charitable donation to our institution. Director S. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital. Telephone 0782. Ooh, now you that gave she me has a number. Everything, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. Yeah, because Maybe I know the worse. truth. She wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. She is preparing that too. all the finer details. Damn, you are vindictive. Wow. Oh, I can't forget. Can't forget, I gotta divinate. Gotta divinate. Let's do it right here in the living room. Just a spider. We're gonna go all the cards just straight down. The fool. I got that I damn card again. Care about what people think. Damn right. Let's go down again. Let's straight down. The devil. All fear will prevent me from facing the music. Okay. The tower. It will be very difficult to recover from the mental collapse. Basically, I got to do what I got to do. And it's going to be hard to recover. Oh, I got to pull multiple cards? Destiny is inevitable. 
the end waits for us. Wow, the wheels of fortune. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we're going to the, uh, I guess we're going to the cemetery? How are we supposed to find out if Martha was pregnant? I just thought about that. How are we supposed to find out? Oh boy. Okay. Oh, that didn't work? Damn. May God forgive me for what I'm about to do. I also pray huh? that you, Martha, will forgive me. Huh? Oh, it's that creepy ass music. All right, we got some censorship incoming. I can already tell you now. We got some censorship incoming. Yeah, we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna put that right there. I think I have an idea of what we're gonna do. with a deformed fetus with two heads. Twins again. Listen to the, the white lady. Family. I was all the more shocked. I was doing things that I had never done before. No I shit! I didn't know what force was moving me. I became unstoppable. I decided to photograph the horror as evidence to show oh. my mother and to everyone. Why Who would you do why? that? Oh my god, it's really fixing to have me do this. Bloody hands and everything, man. Holy shit. We finna really do it. Enough now. I will torture you no longer. I will come back to fix you and I will stay and take care of you. We will spend so much time together. Oh. I love you, Martha. My. God. <laughs> Oh my god. Doctor, Bro I must thank you for your help. Excuse I didn't you? Know what to do without you? What? Even our own dear Donatilio seems to not understand the situation. Uh-huh. Elena, please. Consider the idea of leaving Italy as your husband suggested. What? It would be better for everyone, especially for the girl. How do I know I fear this that is nothing happening? Will make her better. Her father doesn't want to accept it. I believe that hope is long gone. I agree, but in Germany there are better treatments in specialized clinics. The asylum is a temporary solution, just to ensure that she doesn't do anything foolish. Okay. But it's a nightmarish place. You know that all too well. You cannot possibly want this for your daughter. Of course I don't. Uh-huh. But what can I do? She is a danger to herself, to us, to everyone. Now we One see a face. One of guns has also disappeared. She must have taken it. 
Who else could it have been? How did you know I'm that? I'm so scared, Doctor. I cannot wait any longer. How did you know also, that? you know what they think of Italians in Germany, don't you? But you would be with Erich, an esteemed general. Everyone will respect you. Oh, so Ir uh, Irena Where is Italian. Be? Let's hope she doesn't and pay Eric any And Eric is stunts. German. I'll okay. wait for her here, in the cellar. Sooner or later, she'll go to the dark room. That's for sure. I would gladly stay and keep an eye on her. You bitch. But I must rush to town to organize the last few things for her hospitalization. Thank you, Doctor. Don't worry. We'll see you later. How am I supposed to get in there now? I'm just in it now? I'm just doing this? She's sleeping. I must take advantage of this. Oh! I will make her talk. She will reveal the truth out of fear. She thinks I can be silenced by calling me crazy. But unbeknownst to her, I will record everything. Everyone will know what you have done to uh, your own daughter. Okay. All right, let's get these I pictures. Too much noise and wake her up. Fuck! I was supposed to develop the photo. I can't develop the photo, like for real. I would make too much noise and wake her up. <sighs> All right, let's freaking do it. Hey, Ma. I need to holler at you real quick. Ooh. Oh, all right. Yeah, hold hold up now, gangsta. You confess. You can bet on it. Oh, hold, see, look, look at your hand. Look, you can't be doing. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It wasn't me. What? <laughs> Dear God, what have I done? What? She forced me. She killed Martha. What? But who in the world will believe me now? They will take me to the mental asylum. I did nothing. Those rolls of film are my only hope. No button press whatsoever. That was against my will. I wouldn't have shot her. I'd have interrogated the fuck out of her, but I wouldn't have shot her. What the hell? And what keys so are that these? I had the keys to my childhood bedroom. Oh, so we were given that quest all the way back there, and then and that. My God! Woo! Sooner or later, more bombs will land here. Then everything will come to an end. Damn, son! What was the point of me turning on the recorder if I wasn't gonna catch anything? Like that was stupid. Damn, the power is out. It's impossible to develop that roll of film now. Pure pain. Finally, I can enter my room. Yeah, let's let's see what's going on in here. Yano, yeah, I'm assuming. Okay, everything is covered up. Interesting. It's like being a child all over again. Oh, this reminds me of that uh by reenacting what was happening of in the my life. scene with death. To clear my mind. I want to do it again. At the beginning of any puppet act, there's okay. always the legend of the White Lady. Otherwise, the scenes I was reenacting were worthless. How is it going, everybody? It is your boy Jethro, aka the Editing Bear. These puppet shows are super long. I don't know how much I'll be able to edit. But I ask that you grab some snacks, bear with it, all the pun intended, and still enjoy the home stretch of this game. Thank you. According to an ancient legend, okay. the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. A lover's nightly tryst by the lake. 
so much hope and desire. Nope. But death, not love, was awaiting her. Aww. Young lady. My love is not here, I'll wait. Look at the moon. Ah, oh, what a beautiful moon tonight. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> My love is not here, I'll wait. My love is not here yet. I'll wait. Move this puppet within the theater to You're unlock here a at new last. action. Yay. What's going on? Why are you acting weird? Oh yeah, cause he just freaking kills her, doesn't he? Love her. Speak. You cheated on me. I know you kissed another. Is that true? I would never do that. I love you. I would never do that. I love you. Okay, kill. I love you too much. The thought of you with another drives me insane. What are we That's doing? That's why you have to die. The fact that she's able to actually do this with marionettes is impressive in and of itself. What did I do to you? Wow. Just... The man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. Mmm. Okay, priest. Give last rites. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny. Executioner. Hold on. Execute. At least she didn't do any choking noises. That'd have been a little bit too much. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, takes the life of a young woman. Whenever events take her back to that sad day. Mm, young woman. Sing. <laughs> Wash. This is so... This is so different. Uh... Oh, God! <laughs> Came up on her like Jaws. Come to me into the waters below. Help, Help me. Come to me. You look like the Ayuoki. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you have a scene now change? First of all, let's clarify what happened the night before. Oh, I gotta go over all of the events. Tonight. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Uh, they say the war will be over soon. Okay, it's the same thing, but let's back her up a little bit. They say the war will be over soon. Let's back you up a little bit. Dad says we're losing. What will happen if we do? Dad says we're losing. What will happen if we do? They will take everything from us. Uh, hold on. Will we go to Germany? Will we go to Germany? I'm afraid we will. Do you want to come with me to the lake tomorrow? Did you see Lapo yesterday? Ooh. Did you see Lapo yesterday? Now that's an interesting question. No. 
You want to come with me to the lake tomorrow? Do you want to come with me to the lake tomorrow? Oh, I'm speaking as her again. I want to take some photos. I want to take some photos. What if mommy finds out? Let's go at dawn. Mummy sleeps heavily anyway. You know she's been taking that medicine. And what is that medicine even for? I guess we'll never know at this point, because mommy got whacked. Will you actually wake up at dawn? Right, because that's how it played out, because Julia oversleeps. Wake me up. Wake me up. Oh God, I didn't even realize they were up in the air. Shall we swap beds like we used to when we were kids? Sure, great idea. Sure, great idea. Go to sleep. sleep. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it happened like this. Then in the morning, Martha went to the lake pretending to be me to show her pregnancy. Mm. She knew mother was going to follow her down. That's crazy. Now I can only guess what happened when they met at the lake. Whoa, her body was... Yep, there's that damn dress. Her body was in the water, so she might have drowned her. Take your knife. Speak. Undress. Hello. Hello, mummy. Take cane. Hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? <laughs> Undress and get into the water? Oh, right, because the dress was off, I suppose. That's... That's a bit strange. Use the cane. Dum. 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 This might be exactly what happened. Oh wow. No, I'm not replaying that. Let's just move on. I will never know exactly what happened, but I think I have an idea. Yeah, because we just flat out shot her. Mother. No, 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 I didn't shoot. What actually happened? It is all in my mind, but I can remember. I know I can. Okay, holster gun. Okay, here we go. Break. What? A little arm. What? A small leg. And another little arm. Oh my god, this is so disturbing. This is so bizarre. Another small leg. Oh, and the head. Oh look, only the head is left. So did I decapitate her? 
What is happening? Take mop. Oh, I'm I'm cleaning up the crime scene and everything. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we did something terrible, Julia. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> Not sure that's how a mop sounds, but okay. I'll take your word for it. That's more like a broom. That's more like a broom. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Oh my god, I am straight up burying her. I am straight up burying her. What? Wow, throw the corpse. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Take mother's head? <sighs> we literally <sighs> chopped this woman up and buried her? under the bridge. But, but it was just a game. What was just a game? This, however, is not a game. What? It was just playing. What? <laughs> Just a bad joke. What? Under the bridge, the church, the town. Speak, the white lady. The head. Oh my God, this game is stuttering so bad. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I did. I freaking chopped her up. I chopped her up. Wow. Wow. I was supposed to deliver. I was supposed to. What? What? Am I just going to leave this here? Or am I going to at least bury it? Am I going to bury the body? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to freaking leave. I don't know if I'm supposed to- The power to is back. Nice. Now I can develop the role and hopefully have my questions answered. I don't think it really matters all that much at this. Whoa! Whoa! I was not expecting that. And then, like, what difference will it make at this point? The woman we were trying to prove stuff to is freaking dead. How is taking this picture supposed to do anything? And what was the point of turning that? Like I said, I'm really thinking it's the tarot cards that play a role in this. Because why would I have done that otherwise? It makes no sense. This is crazy. Like, at this point, I'm gonna die. Like, an insane asylum my ass. I'm, I'm going straight to the gallows. I will return to you, Martha. Together, we will sort out everything. Just you and I. Sort out what? Sort out what? Sort out what at this point? I don't like how you did that. How you just got quiet. All right. Just had to make sure. Develop the photo. Okay, that's right. I do have to still do that one. All I gotta say is I hope it was our mom that did it. Because if it wasn't, I'm in danger. Yep, there it is. I can't even skip this. That means that it is important. Is that walking in my house? 
Oh, they're coming to take me away. Oh, dear God. So it's true. I killed my sister. What? I did everything to hide the truth. Then I killed my mother to rid myself of the guilt. But she was nasty and everything was her fault. Huh? God, what does that make me? I don't deserve to live a second longer. Maybe I will see her again and I can try and ask for her forgiveness. Oh, But if God. there is nothing after death, at least I will be free from this suffering. Oh, I know it's not right. God. I can't do this anymore. Yep, they're coming to get me. I nah, fired fuck instinctively that. at that soldier. <laughs> I'm sorry. Him right in the head. I'm sorry. It's not a good idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm he sorry. He didn't come alone. When the others came in, I closed my eyes. I heard a lot of commotion and then felt a sharp pain in the stomach. Yep. They were kicking me while another tried in vain to convince himself that the soldier on the ground was still alive. Mm. They hit me in the ribs, the back, and the stomach. I couldn't breathe and at the same time I felt the need to vomit. I just made this girl they suffer. They were ordered to put me on a seat. They bound me up so tightly that I couldn't feel my hands. I just made this girl suffer. God dang it. I just didn't want it to go the out like that, next though. To me was my father. What? He was breathing, but he appeared to be unconscious. Who were the these guys? started asking me questions. He kept hitting me in the face and head with some kind of short cane was so violent I thought my skull would crack open. Dang! All I could taste in my mouth was blood and broken teeth. I ran my tongue across my teeth, thinking to myself that I'd never be able to smile again. Wow! A frivolous thought, perhaps, but a painful one nonetheless. Part of my top lip was cut open and was hanging down. Oh, I foolishly tried her to put face it back in the in beginning place using my tongue and lower lip. I threw up. Her face in the beginning. They forced me to confess that my father had been carrying out all kinds of activity within the German army. Really? Of course, I didn't know anything about it, so I tried to explain. But those punches. I would have done whatever it took to stop them. Whatever it took. What was what was he doing? Just after I told them what they wanted to hear, the general said, All it took were two slaps and you sold out your father, you German whore. Wow. Then he ordered my father to be executed. Wow. It took less than a moment. He didn't even move. He pointed to one of the soldiers, and then he pointed to me. Oh, God. My time had come. They all left except for the soldier who had the unpleasant task of finishing me off. I wanted to die, but not like that. Man. Terror engulfed me. I could almost hear the sound of my body evacuating. Golly, man. The gun pointed to my forehead. I couldn't look at his face. I stank. I felt indecent. Then he moved the gun on purpose and shot without hitting me. Mm. He had taken pity on me. It must have been my fate not to die. Mm. He quickly cut the ropes and pushed me to the ground, saying, mm. It's done. The German whore has been dealt with. I was left motionless on the ground. He left. What? And again. Yo, I probably would have died if I didn't do that. What? I cannot keep up with any of this shit, man. None of it at all. None of it. This is too much.
We were just supposed to figure out why our sister was there. It wasn't even that. It was, you know, we took our sister's identity. That's how it started. Then it was white lady in lake, puppets, pregnancy, which I called, by the way, uh, freaking this rebel spy shit. How did y'all make this shit? And how many endings does this game have? I've literally played for We're two hours and 37 minutes so far. To do. Oh was my God. I felt pain everywhere. Everyone was dead. I was now alone in the world. I felt a desire to hear their voices one last time on daddy's recorder in the dark room. Mm. Provided the soldiers hadn't destroyed it, that is. Mm -mm -mm. Eula's bag was removed by the soldiers, but they've left it in the basement. What is the deal? Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing with your father's gun? It's dangerous. Stop it. This is what tell, happened. Tell me everything now. Tell me what you have done. Okay, okay. Wow, so it actually, it's like we blacked out or something. I note when I woke up, and I immediately realized that something was wrong. Something was up with you, aside from your usual quirks. I came to check, but you weren't in your bedroom. You had spoken about the lake, and I got worried, so I called your father, and we went to see what was going on. We found you sitting in your underwear at the side of the lake. You kept saying that nothing had happened, and you kept repeating things like that. I hugged you to try and make you feel better, but you did not speak again for days. What is happening to you? You should tell me what's going on. I'm not going to that loony bin. Wow. I would never have wanted this, but I'm afraid you will harm yourself further. You were really hurting yourself in front of the piano that night. What else could we do? You killed my sister and now you're afraid because I found out. And we discovered so that we did you. it. But I'm not falling for it this time. What are you saying? Your sister. Please, no. I was not well. I didn't know what I was saying. So many years have passed. You were little then. I thought everyone had forgotten that nonsense. Shut up. Huh? Don't speak. Don't say anything else. I was little. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? And that's when we I'm just... Sorry. It wasn't me who just shot mummy. It wasn't me. I didn't know who I was anymore. Everything had fallen apart. I was afraid of myself. My God, it was terrible. Wow. I had always been convinced that I was too good for myself, but then I had become my own enemy. I was the danger. What should I have done? I thought about the puppet theater in my old room. There I could find something in myself, perhaps. I just so did I the... rushed to go play with it again. I just did the puppets. I just did the puppets. Why do I need to do them again? Mummy nearly died giving birth to me. Mm. This is what remains in my memory of my mother's, nanny's, and father's stories. Oh boy. I remember little to nothing of my childhood at home. I have to try though. Maybe the important events I should know are right there. Nanny. How are you, madam? How are you, madam? She is pregnant as hell. I feel a sharp pain. Do you need anything? I can feel it. The time has come. Time to birth these babies. Open windows. <laughs> Take towel. And let's put towel down. Here we 
Everything is ready. Everything is ready. Help! Something is wrong. What could be wrong? Edith, help! Irene is not well. Oh, I have to switch. Huh. How are you, honey? I'm getting weaker and weaker. I am not well, my husband. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Use telephone. So I guess we're calling the doctor. Doctor, hurry. Arena is sick. Yeah, that's more his voice. Give birth. <laughs> oh my. Whoa. 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 What is happening? Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on a second. Oh, God. Okay, I have to keep doing this until it's baby. At least that's what I'm assuming. Oh, I'm just supposed to hold it. Okay. I'm just... Oh, okay. I got it now. We're birthing a baby today. <laughs> the baby is born. Looks like a grown man, too. <laughs> I feel sick. I feel myself wasting away. It's going to be okay. Poor mummy. She has suffered so much. When did we I have, have a dog? So much. Ever since I was born. Martha. Pet your dog! Why do I would have liked to have pet pet a dog in this game, but Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I'm thirsty. Mommy, I'm sleepy. Mommy, I have to be! We all float down here, George. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. Oh no. I didn't My think that would happen. Not enough. You need to learn properly this time. Oh no. Sorry, it was an accident. What honey. happened? Please don't hit me. What happened? <laughs> Was it because I floated? Oh, God. Dumb. Damn! Dumb. This is just a game. Is it only a game? I believe the white lady said that my lost memories would return in the place of my happy childhood. This is the only place I have ever been truly happy. Are these my memories then? Is this actually my life? Take the picture, cry silently. Cry silently, I guess. I don't, I don't freaking know. What's up? Did Julia make you cry? What's up? Did Julia make you cry? Mmm. I cannot move her. So we're moving over. I've not done anything. I have not done anything. Now I will make you cry. Jesus. 
Oh my god! You rude girl. She really did treat her like shit. Wow. Martha, don't you want to play with your sister? Julia, play with your sister. Hold on, let me move over. Throw a picture on the ground. I love you, mommy. I love you, mommy. I didn't know if she would say anything in response. I saw that. You think you're so smart. I don't know how to piece this shit together. That's the problem. You didn't see me, liar, liar. Hold on. Don't punish Julia, mommy. It's my fault. I asked her to do it. I don't know how. I don't know how true that is, fam. I, 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 I really don't. I don't know how true that is. You're too good, Martha. It's not your fault. I've seen it all. Jeez, man, what, what is happening right now? That's not true. You didn't see me, liar, liar. That's not true. You didn't see me, liar, liar. Hmm. Liar? To whom? Now let's see what happens to you. Oh, here we go. Come with me now. Oh God, she's gonna put me in the pot. Never mind. <laughs> sorry, mommy. I'm so sorry. Come with me. She finna put me in the pot? She finna put me in the pot. I will put you in your place, girl. Did she tie me to the chair? She tied me to the chair! And I can't float either. Sorry, Mummy. I won't do it anymore. I promise. What happened? Too late. These false tears won't help you. Too late. These false tears won't help you. What? What is she finna do to me? Try to break free. Stay still! I hear it. Yep. There it goes again. Help! God, this is so... <laughs> Oh, and the little dog came up. Fido, Fido, bro, Fido. Get me out these chains, homie. I need your help. Oh, no. Oh, oh. See, this is why, this is why we don't have the dog. Now I'll make you want to bark. I am probably going to mute this because I'm not going to want to hear this. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to want to hear this. Leave my dog alone. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope, nope. 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 I'm not listening to that. There's no point screaming, stupid girl. Nope. No, mommy, please. Nuh uh. Nope. You're in. This woman literally boiled the dog. Sure. Now I'll show you how insane I am. Oh, she's gonna... She's gonna make me eat it! On some Silence of the Lambs type shit! Help, Daddy, help! What? Screaming won't work. Your father is not here like usual. Eat it. Did she for real do all this? If so, she deserved to get no. shot. If so, she deserved to get shot. Eat. I won't eat him. That is so fucked, man. I said eat. And it's just back and forth. Oh my god. The devil. No shit. I was beginning to remember, but I was so scared to remember too much, especially all at once. 
I didn't have time to guess exactly what happened. It was making me too upset. Pulling out those memories was like trying to pull out a tooth on your own. Almost impossible, and far too painful. The white lady told me that the church is a safe place and home to its children. Donatilio, my priest, I have to talk to him. I have to call him on the telephone. Yeah. All right, let's, uh... I don't know if I... Hold on. Let me just take out my lighter. So I can freaking see where I'm going. Because I know there is a uh, phone right here. Alright, so his number should be on this paper. Don Atelia 6938. Six... Nine... Three, eight. Don Attilio speaking. Who is it? Reverend, I need your help. Father, help me. They're all dead. Daddy, Mummy, everyone. Julia, come to me immediately. Don't stay alone. It's dangerous. Come to town. You can stay here with me and we can talk about everything. Okay? I can only okay, agree. Father, but first I want to play with my puppets for a while. Julia, don't be silly. Come to church right away. We just got done playing with the puppets. You gonna make me play with the puppets again? Go to San Cassiano. Okay. I was about to say. Did I go the right way? I had to have. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> there we go. Hi, Sky. What you doing, kitty? Kitty with cone on head. Fixed kitty. Oh boy. The following chapter contains a scene displaying self harm. Some players may find the scene disturbing. Would you like to view the censored version? I'm going to say no for the sake of the gameplay. But if you don't want to see this, I will try to timestamp it as best as I can so you could possibly avoid it. But what could I have done? Should I have betrayed my father? I loved my father, but I also loved my friend Lapo. Which side was I on? I just listened to my heart. I thought it was the right thing to do. But instead, it was the worst thing I could have done. Damn. Look at all of I this shit. I didn't go shit. anywhere near the soldiers. Germans or allies. They had all caused me harm. I didn't want to approach anyone for any reason. All right, so I guess we're going in here then. Yep, let's get up in there. Mm. Once I crossed that threshold, mm. I completely lost touch with reality. Everyone around me had died while I survived everything. Mm. Well then. Oof. Yeah, that is uh, kind of bright. Oh my God. What is the absolute deal? There's that damn raven again. Oh, and he brought a buddy. Ain't that some shit? They're all dolls. 
And y'all know me about when it comes to dolls and the paranormal. Now we got dolls and literally like horror. I just remember a big light and then photographs were being taken of me. There was a what? man dressed in white, a doctor I presume. He was asking me questions, but I didn't understand what he was actually asking me. He wrote something on a piece of paper and then two nurses led me away. I was in the mental asylum. Mm. Some women were talking to themselves, others cried. Some were even covered in their own filth. Mm. Others were violent and tried to hurt themselves any way possible. There was this one young woman who would pleasure herself all day long. Oh my god. To the point where she would bleed. Oh my god. So they would tie god. her down to the bed screaming, cursing and talking gibberish for days on end. Once her wounds had healed and she was untied, she would just start again. That woman was me. They started to give me injections. Oh my god! What they gave me made my whole body shake. I broke my vertebrae and an ankle. Damn! I think it was called cardiazole or something like that. My body was like a fire that didn't want to be put out. When it appeared cardiazole. to be quenched, it would come back. Even stronger than before. What was the medicine the that the mom was won. taking? I stopped screaming and masturbating. I stopped thinking. There was no longer any need for therapy. My controller died. Something inside of me had died. But nevertheless, I insisted on carrying along this painful journey. Mm. I was stronger than I could ever have imagined. Well, it's like it said, uh, the mental recovery would be difficult. It's like everything is all adding up, but it looked like it was so randomized, like, wow. Pull back the red curtain. This is so weird. This is so freaking weird. Who are you? Wait, wait. I would like I to- I want answers. Don't go away. I would like to know Talk that- Talk to me about Martha, please. What is happening with this game? Martha is dead. I am Martha. Martha does not exist. Martha, Martha is dead. Martha is dead. I killed her to take possession of her life. I will never find peace for what I have done. I feared that would be the case. And what about Mummy? Oh, they're signing in front of us. Okay, I didn't even realize that. She is dead. Mummy is dead. Nobody knows that better than I do, unfortunately. Might as well come clean. It's useless to try and deceive ourselves. Did I do what I think I've done? Oh, what was that, though? Now see, and herein lies the next thing, like... If I was the one that killed her, then how did the conversation down at the lake go? That's the shit that gets me. Yes, damn it. It really happened. I cut her into pieces and buried her under the bridge. God, all that blood. My God, I knew it. What about Daddy? The soldiers, did that really happen? Yes. It happened. He was shot right in front of me. Fear, pain, shame. I can't remove it. I cannot relive it either. 
Unfortunately, I knew that already. What about Nanny? She is dead. Poor Nanny. She really had nothing to do with it. Could, like, the but majority of these people village, stayed alive? Point. We saved ourselves for some time by taking refuge at her house. Privileges for being rich. Feelings don't count for much, though. My poor nanny. I'm afraid to ask about Lapo. Lapo was the first to go. He is Lapo dead. Lapo is dead. He was blown up by a landmine. He got into trouble and paid with his life. Damn, a friend. landmine just out in the what? middle of the damn just forest. Just as I remembered, unfortunately. One last question. The pregnancy? Martha was pregnant. Martha was pregnant. Her deformed baby died with her. Maybe she was in pain. That's enough now. All of these questions are pointless, aren't they? I don't know. It's all inside of us. We just need to turn the mirror. Is it not all just the reflection of an unknowable existence? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing more than a puppet show. I don't know. I don't know. Ready for everything with open arms. Even ready to kill. What is... What? What? Okay, can I do nothing else? Am I just going to be turning this dadgum mirror? I... I guess so. I, I guess so. Let me just... Let me just look to the side. Remember how I said I'm going to have to look up a freaking video explaining this game? I, I said that with the info that I had at the time. Now I'm going to really need it. Because... Holy shit, dude. Legs always ready to run. There was so many... And, and the thing that made it weird is the conflicting... The conflicting... T the, the, the shit that, that conflicted. In sin. That is what confused me. Like, it, it's all the confliction. You hear one thing and then something completely different happens. Lastly, the mind. To protect us, it has turned us into monsters. Either way, we cannot live like this, can we? I'll take care of it. I don't need to worry. I'll try to sleep if I can. I've got this. What the hell? Oh my god. God, I'm the puppet now. On the 26th of July, San Casciano was bombed and the church was destroyed. Were you in it? But I was not there then. Mm. I was already in the asylum. Mm. Once again, stubbornly, I was not dead. Look at her, she's got uh, silver teeth. The bombs hadn't or metal killed me teeth. and I had also survived myself. The most absurd test and the hardest one. Because she got so messed up. The war ended some time ago now both out there 
happened inside of me. Okay. I was on the wrong side of the gate, but now I can turn the page. Life is opening its doors again, isn't it? If I hadn't been so lucky to survive myself, I would have thrown everything away. So technically, like, we, we did the most and survived. We think that danger is all around us, ready to attack. Right? But the most devious and misleading dangers are the ones that are inside of us. They grow without us realizing. They make us suffer, remain confused, and remove our self-respect. I would have wanted to ask for help. Oh, but yes, you are tripping Times balls. Calm down. This is my story. Thank you for being here, for listening to me. Okay. Now I'm ready to leave. How long will it take to get home? So she's out of the asylum. Wow. That's it. That's it. Death. Fortunately today it is possible to ask for help and receive it even if we are alone. Even if we are desperate. Even if it feels like life doesn't make sense. If it feels like there is nothing left for us it is only because we can no longer see it. There is always something to live for. Something great could be just around the corner. Like I said in the beginning, there's help out there. Please reach out if you need to. So I'm gonna try to understand what happened. Who am I kidding? I can't. But we survived, though, through everything. All of the hardship, all the bullshit. We survived it, right? And we're able to leave the asylum. We're completely rehabilitated and we're able to just leave. Yeah, Martha is gone. Our mom is gone. Our dad is gone. But we still survived it. And it's like the tarot card said. The mental, you know, trauma, the mental recovery would not be easy. But it did not say that we wouldn't survive. It said it would be hard. We suffered. That's for damn sure. But we still survived. Are there multiple endings to this game? I'm gonna look up so much stuff with this game. I am. I'm gonna look up so much stuff with this game and I'm gonna, I'm gonna piece this, I'm gonna take this game apart. As many videos as I can. Because while it was janky on the PC, I'm not going to sit here and say that that was not a beautiful experience. Like, I literally sat down, pressed record, and here we are, three hours, 21 minutes, and 26 seconds and counting. 80%. Does that mean I did 80% of the game? I got 80% of the stuff in the game? I don't know, man. But that was Martha is dead. I'm gonna really have to split these videos up. I might do them in three different sections or I might just cut it in half. I might just cut it in half so I can go ahead and get this out so we can deviate from the horror and the, the traumatic experiences that this game brought to the surface and made real because things like this are real. The suffering of people is real. And this game really played with reality. It was confusing as hell, 
but I'd like to think it was pretty damn brilliant. And after this, Shadow Warrior 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed all of Martha is Dead. If you did, why not leave the video a like? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing? Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of this mayhem. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.